and now a fight over oxygen between various states. Kerala Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan yesterday wrote to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi saying that his state cannot spare any further oxygen as they have already supplied their buffer stock to neighbouring states and are left with just 86 metric tonne. Uh, the state, he wrote, will allow 40 metric tonnes of oxygen to Tamil Nadu till the 10th of May and uh, going by the decision on the 6th of May uh, by the Central Committee of Oxygen Allocation. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister MK Stalin had on May 7th written to the centre asking for orders for the allocation of 40 metric tonne of oxygen from the Inox uh, Kanji Kord, uh, plant for Tamil Nadu but now Kerala saying that it cannot any longer supply oxygen uh, to its neighbouring states. Let's go across to Sneha now uh, for more and Sneha this is a worry now for Tamil Nadu and other states where oxygen from Kerala was being supplied but the Chief Minister saying in view of the rising cases they cannot afford to send any more oxygen out. Well, couple of things here, Gargi. One, what the Chief Minister has said, that uh, the current active cases in Kerala is around a little over 4 lakh uh, active cases. Now, in just about five days from now, the projected active cases for Kerala um, is expected at around 6 lakh cases. So it's like almost a 2 lakh jump is what the projected numbers show. Considering that, uh, the, uh, the government has been ramping up the facilities on the ground. Till now, there has not been any disruption of, um, I mean, there has not been any hospital which has reported uh, uh, oxygen per se not being available to patients. There was a close call in a hospital in Kasargod where uh, some patients had to be moved out from the ICU because they preempted an oxygen shortage in the morning when they were taking a stock taking uh, of the situation. And by afternoon, they received around 15 cylinders of oxygen, D-cylinders of oxygen. But the situation is getting tight in several hospitals. One, because the number of patients who require oxygen support is only increasing and it is further expected to increase in days to come. Now, the Chief Minister in his letter to the Prime Minister has written out of the buffer stock of 450 metric tons they had given to neighbouring states during this crisis to be able to handle the situation. And that time, of course, Kerala was not going through such a, a bad phase in terms of numbers and patients. But now, according to the Chief Minister, the buffer stock is down to 86 metric tons and they cannot afford to give, it, give from the buffer stock any further. That's one. Number two, the Chief Minister has said that because of the distance of the state uh, from the key steel plants uh, which provide or supply these oxygens. He's requested that all the 219 metric tons of oxygen that is um, produced within Kerala should be allowed to be used by Kerala itself. That's number two. Number three, um, the, the uh, Chief Minister has um, said by the 15th of May they would be requiring um, you know, uh, 450 metric tons, um, right. which was part of the buffer, uh, which is now down to 86. So these are the contexts in which the chief minister has written to the prime minister saying that it will be practically impossible to allow oxygen to be taken out of the state any further, requesting for uh, cryogenic tanks as well as the oxygen train oxygen express train to now uh, coordinate between the four southern states uh, between all the southern states and to uh, provide the requirement of oxygen all right, uh, Sneha, thanks so much for joining us uh, with those uh, details of uh, the reasons uh, for this decision by Kerala. But what does it now mean for Tamil Nadu? Earlier we spoke to uh, Sam Daniel for more. Uh, remember, uh, oxygen was being supplied uh, from Kerala to Tamil Nadu. Uh, let's just uh, take a look at this report. Well, Tamil Nadu is overlooking a shortage of oxygen supply after the Kerala government decided to stop supply of oxygen to Tamil Nadu to meet its own requirements and now authorities in Tamil Nadu say this could have an impact on the oxygen supply in the western districts of Tamil Nadu, particularly districts like Coimbatore, Salem, Erod and a few others. And at the moment, authorities are also contemplating if they have to stop supply of oxygen to neighboring Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. At the moment, 35 metric tons of oxygen is being supplied from Sri Paramadu to Andhra Pradesh. They also want the immediate intervention of the central government in the form of a circular to all states to abide by the distribution they had agreed to earlier. Tamil Nadu at the moment receives 419 metric tons of oxygen, authorities say, although the demand is 440. And this is set to rise to 840 metric tons in two weeks' time as the daily tally has is inching towards 30,000 in Tamil Nadu and 
there is a steady rise of positive patients requiring oxygen. The oxygen unit at the Sterlite plant in Chutikurin also will start supplying oxygen in a few days' time. And authorities are quite concerned, particularly after 13 people, patients, in fact, lost their lives at the government medical college hospital in Chengalpattu a few days ago, allegedly due to oxygen short supply. Well, it's a new government in place in Tamil Nadu, the DMK government, and this is their first challenge and priority. And they want to make sure that things do not go wrong in this front. They expect some kind of a formal response later during the day. In Chennai, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.